All right, time to make my first multiplayer Dominions game. And the first thing we've got to do is create our critter. So, I spent a while looking at all the early age options, and although there are multiple that fascinate me, uh, in particular, I like the Hydras and their poison clouds and these heavy cavalry with invol- Look, you, you already know from the thumbnail that I'm not playing the Amazon Queen, so I'm just going to stop. Just suffice it to say, there are several factions that really caught my eye, but I am going to go with simplicity. The simplest one, I think. So, without getting too much into why I chose the Frisbee Champions as my, uh, faction here... Well, it wasn't for the Frisbee Champions, I'll tell you that. Going into battle naked with no weapons, and then they only can be bothered to carry four ammo! With a minus three pre precision. Their precision wasn't amazing to begin with. I don't know what these guys are thinking. Um, no, it's actually for this guy. So, simplicity. Rather than going with a big, complicated, sacred build with lots of ways for me to get everything wrong and build heavily around magic with tons of ways for... This guy is simple. I can fit two of them in a tile, despite the fact them being size six. They have a magic attack. They have pretty good protection and a shield, and they can even repel. They're just good. And most importantly, I can recruit them anywhere, not just my capital. Anywhere there's a fort. Well, limited and expensive. Very expensive. But my biggest regrets are not having a lot to go under water and not really having very good ranged options. Yeah, I'm going to end up using the Frisbee teams. I've got some other pretty cool things in here, though, with smiths and other stuff. But the most important thing to me is... I'm going to be playing a scales build for my, my first big attempt here. Why? Because uh, we're going to be building around those troops and not... I, I mean, I'll use magic, but we're not going to focus on it. So, the big decision for me... Look, you already know it's going to be the big cat, okay? I can't pretend and poke at different things here. I actually spent a lot of time trying to decide whether or not to go with the antlion, though. Um, the antlion is in many ways better. And it's less expensive. <sighs> Like sixty points. That's it's 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 almost it's 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 a scale and a half. It's uh it's a scale and a half is the price difference between the two, and this thing magic weapons completely uh completely wreck it. Like it's only good as long as it's fighting non magical weapons. So against other players, this thing is going to be not seeing not seeing use on the front lines. Uh... In the end, though, I decided I wanted a magic path, or a nature. I decided nature would be very important. We're giants. We're going to need to eat a lot of food. So being able to, once I can no longer attack with this thing, or I'll probably still find myself using it a little bit here and there, but I can start searching for nature paths. I can have it craft bowls of cup ramen for my uh, armies. And it's just... I don't know if it's really worth 60 points, but that's what I'm going with. Next, we want order. We need resources. I want growth. This is what stumped me for the longest time. Do I want more magic because our research is never going to be that great? Or do I want drain? I chose Drain. 
because uh, one of my potential weaknesses is my giants getting targeted with spells. Having giants means I'm going to have fewer troops. I, I, I mean, I could put out a whole bunch of the uh, small, regular humans, but and, and I might. But um, the giants are going to be vulnerable. This helps protect them somewhat, and it lets me focus more on making more of them. So we're not going to be very magical. However, the focus, the theory, is I'm going to expand like crazy as much and aggressively as I possibly can. We're an aggro. We're an aggro deck. We are just aggressively assaulting our enemies nonstop. Um, that's, that's the only thing we can do. Uh, like, low light vision? That would help my... I don't have very many sacreds, just a couple of my generals, really. Uh, morale or low light vision? Uh, I'll take morale, I guess. Anyway, um, yeah, so... Just kind of go with that. Anyway, we're, we're going to take a bunch of territory, make a bunch of giants, take more territory, get more giants, hopefully steal a bunch of different types of magical gems by conquering enemies who have already been searching and finding sites, and use that to uh, get into more magic types. Uh, not that I think earth and fire are bad, mind. I think they're great. All right, there we go. Can I rename my capital Pride Rock? All right, we have our scar. Now, I'm gonna log into the game. And I'm going to load. Let's see, I even had. See, they told, they, well, they told him, you are what you eat, and he didn't believe them. Until he went off and hung out with a war warthog and a meerkat and ate bugs for years. Poor Simba's not very happy with the uh, results. Alright, anyway. Scar. Alright, there we go. I bet that's kind of signaling to all the other players what I'm playing. Well, maybe not. Do you think they'll guess? Do you think they'll guess it's the lion? They might, but they might not. All right, then. Well, that's a me. <laughs> now I just have to wait for the game to begin. This is going to be fun. <laughs> I do not expect to win my first game. Hopefully, I don't get stomped out in the first five minutes. I don't know what I'm going to do against aquatic opponents. That's one of the things, like the, the other factions, especially especially the pale ones, they're kind of all-terrain. They have dark vision, they're good in caves, they can swim, they're good in water, they're good on the land. Okay, I can't really call them all-terrain when they're cold-blooded and they have serious problems with the cold. I'm sure I could find ways around that. And the paralysis, I think I've got to play them sometime. They seem really interesting. But the Hydras seem really interesting. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, i got to play more of these factions. I don't know how many of them actually work, because I haven't played them. And I don't understand the game well enough to look at a faction and figure out what makes it tick just yet. Uh, I can just kind of... I sort of, kind of know what each nation does. In broad strokes. Anyway. So. Oh, yeah, also. Um, for those wondering. Uh, seven players. All will be players. Uh, no AIs. Uh, there are eight throne points available. You need six to win. Uh... There are caves and water nations allowed. Uh, I think that's all the important details. Oh, diplomacy is binding, I guess. That too. Okay, there we go. That's the setup. Let's see how this goes. Alright, time for my first turn. So, we have... I'm playing the Hate Giants. 
uh, I think everybody here has at least a decent matchup against me. Or lives in a pineapple under the sea where I can't get to them. But, uh... Well, I'm sure I do fine against Airmor. They're the Roman Empire. I'm Greek. That matchup's my favor, right? Right? Alright, anyway. Well... Don't give me any ocean tiles. Ah, good. No ocean tiles. Yes, yes, yes. All is good. Okay, so... Oh, no. The chamber's beneath a drip cave. Oh! Who left an, who left an open manhole here? Falling straight into the sewer? That can't be good. Uh, that that can't be good. We'll have to send somebody down there to look around. Uh, let me see. Was it R? Ah, oh, yes. R. A little tiny giant. Yes, you are, aren't you? Okay. Well. I'm really torn about this. I really am. I kind of want to make him my prophet. But I also kind of don't want to. I don't have any great targets to be my prophet, honestly. Um... I mean, who am I going to make the prophet, honestly? guys, always in the field, always in battle. At least they'd be able to, um, I don't know. We don't have any blessings. I don't know what to do with it. Um, I think it reduces your maintenance cost. I could just hire the most expensive thing I have and pop it on that. But I kind of really, really want my, um, uh, scales to spread. What's the point in having really great scales if you're not spreading them everywhere? I'm just gonna turn him into a prophet right now, and he can sneak around stealthily in my territory building uh, temples or whatever. He'll spread, he'll spread my candles, he'll be good. And if something happens to him, I can name a new prophet after six months. Okay, what else do we got going on here? I am so tempted to blind expand. But I don't have a forest or mountains. And um, in my experience, usually often there's larger groups and fields and farms. And I don't have any kind of blessing. As awesome as this guy is, I mean, we don't know, we don't even have, we don't even have our, uh, candles spread to any of these. So we'd have even, we'd have less health, and... Look, we just don't know what's out there. We could run into a, a convention filled with Guts cosplayers, and they're non-magical greatswords? It doesn't matter that they're non-magical, they'll still kill! Apostles and monsters and things like my poor uh, lion here, or at the very least, cause all kinds of crippling injuries. So, <sighs> hey, we have a river to protect us. Bridges. We have a river to keep us hydrated. That's nice. I hate that I can't use you for anything. Turn one. You only can do one point of research. It's such a waste of a turn. There's there's nothing to find if you search your capital. I'm pretty certain of that. Uh, speaking of research, let's get a quick, a quick, quick peek. We have Alt-1. That gives us... I mean, might use to steal gold. Um, personal bark skin on the lion. That's not bad. Um, 
I suppose he could use eagle eyes and then, because it costs almost nothing, and then shoot out um, flying shards, I guess. The precision boost would help with that. So, you know, okay. It's, I mean, if I had death, it would look a lot better. But uh, if I... But I have what I have. So we'll be able to distill gold and... Wait a minute, I don't have her. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. You're fire nature, not f nature earth. Well, he'll have bark skin. H hooray, that's something. Pierce, slash, resistant, and invulnerability, and fear. Not expanding with him turn one just feels wrong. But what can you do? Uh, the only thing I'd have to accompany him is uh, some spear guys. There, there's nothing wrong with them. Uh, if anything, I, I think they're actually above average. They even have a shield. Yeah, they're definitely above average, I think. A little slow, perhaps. But, uh... Yeah, I have 30 of them, and I could easily run into 130 guys with a blind expand, so... With great reluctance, I'm going to resist the urge to blind expand. Alright, do we want some scouts? It's about the only way I can get an, an archer. I'm not paying 35 bucks for a short bowman. There is a strong temptation to get a cyclops. It would have been a great target to be the prophet. And he could forge his own gear and become a giant powerhouse as the biggest, strongest thing we have. I also need sight searchers. But I'm pretty sure the correct choice is this guy. He'll give me a little bit... We got bad, bad magic drain. But he'll give me a little bit of research. And, uh... You know, he can craft some things when we get to that. But he can also sight search a little bit. He can carry troops. He'll be useful. We'll, we'll always find a use for him somewhere in our organization. Alright, finally it's time to hire. And I have a lot of resources, actually. Part of me wants to mass javelin throwers. In case I run into the aforementioned Godspot cosplayers. But I know I should always be hiring these guys. Always. The difference is five points of protection. This guy's also a little faster for what that's worth. Is it better to have six? Or four? Is it better to have six or four? I mean, that's two more attacks around. But on the other hand, five points of protection is actually enormous. I kind of feel like every point of protection is worth more than the one before it. I, th I know that doesn't make sense, because the first point of protection is going to be one damage off every single thing that hits you, and the 21st point of protection only protects you... Uh, only attacks that hit you for 21 or 22 damage will actually care about that 21st point, but... I don't know, I'd swear every point of protection is more valuable than the one before. I don't know, it's just how I feel about this game at this time. I'm gonna hire four. And... Javelins or 
These guys are just gonna get themselves killed. I know they're just gonna get themselves killed. It's what they're gonna do. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, these guys also have... These are the same thing. Oh, okay, yeah, these are the cheaper version. Oh, that saves a little bit of cash. Um... Perhaps a little silly. Perhaps. But these guys... will actually throw from further away. If I mix the javelins and these guys together, these guys will naturally screen these guys. If an enemy gets around to attack my archers... My archers? Uh... <laughs> The Javelineers will be the ones that they'll probably connect with, in theory. Because these guys will stand further back, and they have fourth shot, so they're going to keep throwing longer. Maybe? I don't know. It's a theory. Probably wouldn't mix them, honestly. Um, actually, I might deliberately give these guys the worst morale possible. Because if I do that... They'll throw their javelins, and as soon as they touch the enemy, they'll turn around and leave. They'll just run away. And that actually might be what I want. I don't really want them trying to melee with these stats. I think. Anyway, we'll go with this for turn one, and um, we'll kind of wing it from there. I do want him to have a few bodyguards escorting him. And I definitely, uh, this guy's gonna need, gonna need some guys if he's gonna fight. Is that everything? What am I forgetting? I have not chosen a research. Okay. Fire, earth, and I have nature, but we're not gonna be using the lion for a little while. Fire ants. When the lion finishes his job, he can summon fire ants. That'll be a while. Um, nature off the table just leaves me with ogres? Hmm. Ogres. And we can summon cave grubs if I'm underground. I don't know how good these are. I don't know how good these are. I've never summoned them. We might be able to use that. Option B, Alteration 2. Personal stone skin sure is nice. Yeah, I got a whole lot here. Honestly. Alteration 3. Not super impressive. So that brings us to evocation with fire and fire. Yes. This is good. Flame bolt. Um, I could definitely use flame bolt both with my lion and if I want to uh, toss any of these guys onto the battlefield. Again, that's only one fire, and fire bolt costs two. That would leave you with flame darts. Uh, well, it's not the worst thing you could do, but is it really that much better than flying shards? <laughs> hmm. See, this is a problem then. Hundred percent to get two in one of those, but you're a two-turn recruit. I can have you now. <sighs> it really depends on what he rolls. Honestly, whether or not that's a good idea or a terrible idea is uh Hmm. Construction is definitely good. Construction is definitely... This is the most important spell to me, I think. I need to get an Earth 2 who can cast it. This is my most important spell, early game. And crafting is good. 
checking a little more. Row fire. Ooh, this one's kind of good, but only if I find a guy with two hams. Mm. Thaumaturgy? I doubt there's anything for us here. What is far strike? Oh, it's a spell that hits an enemy. Okay. Battle Fury is good. Yeah, okay, I think we're done here. Construct 2. Um, maybe even 3. I'll make a decision as we go. I wish I could craft something with this turn, but I wouldn't be able to even if... So, that's the entire turn... Thirty spearmen. Thirty spearmen. Well, I don't have the money. Thirty spearmen for two hundred. I guess that's a fairish price. I don't know, I'll wait till something more exotic shows up. Preferably a spellcaster with paths I don't have. That would be ideal. Alright, that was our turn. There is nothing else I can possibly do. I think. I sure hope I'm not forgetting anything critically important. Hiring, telling our guys to do things. Would you like to blood hunt? Would you like to demolish the fortress? We will, we, we could do that. <laughs> All right then. And generating new turn. I'm gonna. Go ahead and play my next turn. <laughs> yes. Yes. Alright. Patron of trade at day laborers? Huh. Oh, come on! It's the first turn and you curse me! Oh, that's just not right. Oh, that's just not right. Well, he wasn't cursed. It wasn't him. It wasn't Boji. Okay. Who was cursed? Oh, it wasn't any of the giants. Okay. Okay. That means... Uh, don't... You... I don't know what the button is to look. Cursed? I don't have a button to find out who's cursed. It does display who's cursed, right? It's not hid- is it hidden- I don't know who's cursed. It's hidden information. Shit. Well, that's interesting! Alright, what do we got going on? This place, all right, first up, well, field should be worth a good amount of money. Swamps, not so much. Farms, oh yeah. 73, 81 recruitment points. And no resources. Ah, we could have really used some hills. We need resources. We're gonna end up with a ton of recruitment points and no resources. I have never seen... I've never seen one in the sea. Oh! There's a chair in the sewer. Zots. Those were the bat people. Those were kind of weak, right? Hold on, how much are you worth? The drip cave isn't giving me its information yet. The blood yet surrender to me its secrets. Alright! Deer tribe, prepare to meet the big kitty. 
Alright. I guess we will mix them for now, because... Okay. I would like to... First of all, you are going to... The only thing you got is... I don't really know how to command them to move to the enemy and then use touch spells, but he's not a combat caster anyway, so... Just, uh... Attack. Closest enemy. And you're probably doing good. Yeah, that's probably fine. The fireflies would only make him weaker. He wouldn't do much damage. So, bark skin, go nuts. And, uh... That'll be plus one. You know, it's something. Okay, next up. Form a double line. This is my ranged crew. Uh, for my... Uh, that's what we got for now. And these are my actual giants. I will let them be first in battle. Oops, no, no. And... You're not fighting. You're not participating. You... I really want to tell him to fight, because he's good! He's really good! But I... Alright. I guess I'm gonna ask you to... to go... uh, look down there. Strike cavalries. Do they have bows? from the sprite? I can't quite tell. Um... You know what? I'm gonna have you do that. And I'm gonna have you do that. There we go. There we go. That should work. Meanwhile... How are my resources negative this turn? Why did my resources... go down? The misfortune? Ah, unrest. Yes, that would do something, wouldn't it? Hmm. Hmm, quite, quite, yes. Well. Are we going to reinforce the main army, or are we going to build an additional army that tries to fight? I don't know yet. But I do know I'm going to make a whole bunch of javelins. Because I can. Alright. So. I should be able to fairly easily take a lot of these things. He ended up with an heir. I sure would like to push him to, uh... Start sight searching. I think he'd be okay stepping into one of these fights. Fields usually don't have a lot of sights. The forests and the mountains do. There's a lot of caves. I wonder if it's all one big cave complex. Well, I'm gonna have to wait a day to find out a little bit more about it. Anyway, let's see. Oh, well. All the chairs. One, two, three, four, five are in my neighborhood. Well, maybe not that one. Four out of five. And I have the only underground chair. Lucky. Unless all the caves are connected, and then it might just be that I have a 
another direction I can be attacked from. Alright, last call for stuff. Alm, huh? Alright, alright. So... Yep, I do believe that was all the things. So, gonna go ahead and pass the turn. So annoyed by this. It's not fair. Turn two. Ah, all right. Anyway, ah, uh, yeah, I think that's everything. Pretty sure. All right. Ah, uh, been waiting for this all day. Uh, I suppose it was too much to hope to get another double turn, huh? Well... Well... So, of all of the, uh, ones... I should probably talk a little bit about which ones concern me the most. How... I think it'd be good to talk about it at the beginning of the game so we can see how terribly wrong I am as we go. And who I really should have worried about. But of the set of things in front of me, the one that gives me the most concern by far is uh, the Little Mermaid and her friends. They concern me. You see, well, we'll go into it as I, as I go along. But let's first see the profit of... Fires, friend to sailors, guardians of the tablet of destiny, dream of arcane mysteries. I don't really understand those titles, but that sounds like somebody who took a whole bunch of different paths. It sounds like fire, water, maybe earth, I'm not sure, and, and, um, uh, uh, astral. That's what it sounds like. I'm not really sure. I'm still too new to the game to be sure what, you know. Alright, so first off, please don't suffer any horrible injuries. Let's see what happened here. The farms! Alright, my kitty out to play in the sun. Throw some bark skin on. By roaring really loud. And then your skin becomes like a tree. Okay, arrows. What do we got? Archers! I don't think they can hurt me. Commanders! I don't think they can hurt me. Javelins and spears? And just spears? We have a cleric with no magic. There's no wizard here. That's the important thing. There's a rock. Well, it's 25 protection. I can kill that rock. I don't think anything here can hurt us. So we're just going to speed it up. Fear! And we're killing like three things a turn. They're already running for their lives. I'm seeing ones coming out. They are actually scoring damage. I don't know if... Hey, I thought I only had one research. Oh, I bet there's not drain in this province yet. That'd be why. Okay. Anyway. There's slash resistant or pierce resistant. They're still getting single points of damage through. I don't know if chip damage can cause an injury or an affliction. No. Learning experience gain. Come on. Don't let them get away. So they did. Didn't do much. I'm really nervous about afflictions because I have no way to heal them. That's why I can't send them near the uh, cavalry. I think the horse tribe cavalry are actually horse archers. 
I think I fought them in a previous game, and that's what they were, but, uh... Alright. Alright. These guys do the fighting. These guys just throw some javelins as ranged attacks. Oh, that's not good. Oh, we're gonna take some, some attrition. Let's see, they've got javelins. Deer Tribe ain't got much. Deer Tribe ain't got nothing. I think the giants are safe. What is that? Oh, that's the discus! Do it again! You suck! That's twice you've missed! Well, yeah, I, I guess. I don't, don't really like you guys throwing arrows at these guys. I don't think the discus guy has scored a single hit. A tree. Oh, you guys had a wizard! You're making the trees come to life! I haven't tried that spell yet, but I think it's really cool. You can do it with one nature, huh? Well, maybe we'll hire the tree guys after this. Anyway, get lots of punches in so you get a bunch of XP, please. Just smash these guys. What are you doing? Is that your melee attack? Oh shit, you're losing hit points fast. It's like you just bend over. Seriously, you go into battle in your tidy whiteies. What the hell? You could at least carry a sidearm! Oh well, whatever. So... The end results are 21 kills, and... Eh, we lost three spearmen with a shorter spear. Honestly, that's pretty good, assuming we didn't get any any crippling injuries, which we probably did. We could let Chief. Assuming we didn't get a bunch of crippling injuries. What is it, W? Uh... Oh, that front. That's unfortunate. A never healing wound. Eh, I think we came out pretty well. Alright, what are we doing? We have no money. Well, I guess I won't be hiring any soldiers of fortune anytime soon. Uh... I can't even use up our resources. We need all right. I kind of really would like... I've got the farm. I'm happy about the farm. Uh, its population growth is a nice, nice amount. Um, how does that compare with... Uh, oh, well, I'll go over here. Yeah, we're at point six. Hmm. Population growth on the farm is great. Uh, anyway, I kind of want to send my uh, kitty through here and here, and then do a group attack on here. Strategic. But, um... My scout has brought me something. I, I was thinking about how I would like more resources, because these don't give me resources. This cave may have been the best thing that happened to our uh, capital. For the resources, but the money! I don't think Zots were very strong. So I guess you become... S I have exactly one unit who can fight underground. Inevitably. Inevitably, you were going to become Sewer Kitty. There was no other way. You actually have a nature spell. Wait a minute, can you cast that... Um, can you cast that on other units? No, no, um... Cast specific spell. Cat Eyes. No, we can only target yourself, and you already have Cat Eyes. So... Resistance. Yay. 
Do you want to resist poison? Not here. Alright, uh, like it or not, he's going into the sewer. We need this. I'm pretty sure they were soft. So that is uh, pretty much guaranteed. And uh, it's going to be a big cave. Yeah, I was inevitably going to throw the cat down here, and we were inevitably going to search this area. Uh, uh, I, I would prefer, I really would like it if it was a tiny cave, and I could just own the whole thing, but there's no way. If there are too many entrances up here that are too close, it's at the very least going to connect these three points. So, I'll say Boji's sneaking about. I think Crystal Caves have very high resource levels. We probably are going to build a fort down here. We're definitely going to expand into it. We just need to get as many tiles with candles on them as possible, because our kitty needs that. I'd love to build temples, but... Alright, next up is you. Heavy Cavalry? Small change. Yeah. Eh, they're a little faster. This should be fine. This should be fine, and then we'll loop down to Delka. Okay. And definitely, let me see, archers. And archer. Okay. Um. This one is worth twice as much money a turn. But this one's more out of the way, and I should probably just get it conquered, because as I said, this group can loop straight down. Huh. But that's 30 bucks. Hmm. Heavy infantry is a slightly scarier, but is it really? Anyway, gotta be the air one, because we'll need air shield. Alright, this is... Uh, if anything happens to you, you just kind of die? You've got bark skin and air shield, and that's, um... Not much! That's actually concerningly little. Are you really gonna be safe like this? Well, let's see. Am I being too greedy? Is claiming three pro Oh, right, you can't- your Earth, not nature. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, hmm. I don't want you shocking yourself. I guess you'd end up just using Earth Group? I'm very uncomfortable with this. There are... The air shield will help with the archers, but the militias and the heavy infantry are still there. Hmm. I do kind of want to give the lion some minions to follow him. Perhaps the correct play is to have you go down there. And then you'll give the lions the three giants and do a sight search and then come back up. Hmm. This army is just too small. We. <sighs> the unrest! My order this is gonna get rid of three unrest a turn. My defense is gonna get rid of two unrest a turn. But we're still gonna have this massive problem for many turns to come. Assuming that no misfortunes occur. Now, three is pretty far from my scales, so it should start tilting back. But if 
I've only got, you know, two candles, so, um, things could keep happening. I don't know how good a, um, patrol this will be, but as much as I want a third province this turn, I will hold off. Alright, we're gonna make a decision now. I guess I might as well use me with all these unspent points. I could conjure up a whole bunch more javelin ears in place of one of these guys. <sighs> That's a decent question. I really, really want more of these. They're amazing, but... One of those, or... Fifteen! Javelin Spearman. Well, one attack, or fifteen attacks. I mean, you make a really accurate, devastating attack. And I really love your health and defense. I really love them. These guys are fragile and will die. But that's 15 spears to your one. Um... It really depends on what I'm fighting. Against barbarians, they'd be way... But against archers, they're a little bit questionable, and everything here does have archery with it. But... I don't know. I don't know whatever's down there. I'll go with this. We're still getting three of the big guys. We're still getting three of the big guys in the end. And, um... Having a couple of these to move troops around and fight will be good. They're very, very good at fighting. To the point where I actually feel a little bad telling them to stay behind. I actually feel a little bad telling him to stay behind the troops and not just go into melee. He could save some of the troops. Anyway, spearmen against cavalry. Um, definitely want more ranged units. What I really want each of these to be is a big tough guy. A uh, half dozen big tough guys. And then a bunch of ranged units behind them. If I could find a way to keep the enemies from attacking my ranged guys, um, that's pretty much what the big buff spear, spear giants should be doing. It's just keeping the ranged units safe while they do their thing, and then all just kind of fighting together. I want, I want the big giants to tank as much as possible. I want them to tank. All right, I think we're done with this turn. There's nothing really else to talk about. The research is, um, <coughs> well, I'll probably be make tur uh, spending turns uh, turning fire gems into gold soon. I'm. I'm, um... Construction 1 doesn't do very much for me. It's Construction 2 where the good spell is. It's so far away, I'm just not going to worry about it for now. I think this is a good one. Am I forgetting anything? Am I forgetting anything? Anything. Anything at all. I am. I don't really have money, but, uh, I'll 
Just basically nothing. Uh, priests at 85. There's a priest one. Uh, 30 for a... Not a priest, just a sacred... Oh yeah, this guy's useless. I don't want this guy. Well, he does have nature. I could send him around searching for nature sites. We might want one of him. But a lab and a temple just for that? Uh, I mean, I need the temples, but... Nah. The uh, $85 priest, though, that might be a bargain. Because all of my priests are considerably more expensive. And if I want a guy to just go around and build temples... Yeah. Yeah, the first temple might go here unless I find a better bargain than that. Something more useful. Maybe the bat people do something. I don't know. Part of me really wants to build a fort at every cave entrance and guard it. I wish I could make it so you can't go through the entrance unless you take the fort. Like, literally build the fort on the tunnel. But, uh... I want this to be part of, you know, I want my capital to be benefiting from this. I'm ho hoping! Really, 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 yeah, it should definitely, definitely, definitely should be sending resources back to my capital, and that's what I really want. Badly. If I get, uh... Is it 50%? Is it really 50%? I thought it was 30%. If it's 50%, that's awesome! Anyway, if I get 50% of it, um... Shit. That's an ex- that- that's- that's basically an extra big guy every turn. I was hoping even for even for thirty percent, I'd be happy to take it. Anyway, uh, it's right next to me, but that chair's not happening. I keep second guessing myself. I liked the idea of letting the kitty play in the sun before going underground, but this province is too valuable. I need the chambers underneath. We need our sewer! We must control it! Who knows what kind of terrible mutants we might find down there. Last question. Do we want to search for sites with you? Well, it's gonna be a little while. So... These, the problem is, fields and farms don't have many sites to begin with. Oh! Did my camera die? When did that happen? Well, whatever, our move is done anyway. I have no idea what has ailed my camera, but... Uh, well... Let's just, uh... I'm sure... I'm sure I'm done. I'm not forgetting anything, am I? No, I'm not forgetting anything. Oh, right, I was going to talk about Atlantis a little bit. Uh, basically... They have two things I, uh, that concern me. So, super quickly. The first is, they seem like they have... Well, they got one of the best sacred troops in the game. As far as I can tell. Or at least in the early age. 21, 31... Uh, this, this guy's awesome. He's even got a shield. He's even got a bite! Uh, with the right blessings. And then, since they're water power, I'm sure they can quicken these guys. I mean, they could be threatening. But! Also, they do have Priest 3. 
We got a lot of things going on. Anyway! But what the bigger concern is, more worrying than the Bless, is... What if they just used these? And, um, just played Viking. I really have no way to fight them off and take the water. So, if they just put a bunch of these guys jumping up and down on my shorelines, in and out of the water, I don't know what I could do about it. Uh, a small number of uh, my guys isn't going to cut it, because look at this glaive. 27? They can reach my necks. They are tall enough. Their weapon is long enough. They can hit me in the head. And there's a poison, too. On top of everything else. Yeah. Yeah, just a group of these. I wouldn't be able to chase them off with a small team. I'd have to commit uh, as enough resources. And then, how are you going to catch them? How are you ever going to catch them? So, Atlantis worries me mostly because of the Coral Guard and Viking tactics. So, I'll cover what I think the next most dangerous one is tomorrow. And, uh, why... And we'll work our way down the line. I'm sure you're also eager to know who I think is the least threatening to me. <laughs> so you can really find out how mistaken I was. Anyway. Uh, I gotta wait until, my, until tomorrow for my next turn now. Mm.